Submerged arc welding is a widely used arc welding method. It uses the arc as the welding heat source. During welding, the arc is buried under the flux layer to burn. And the arc light is not exposed. Since the arc is not exposed, how does it complete the welding? The principle of submerged arc welding is as follows. When welding, we connect the two poles of the power supply to the contact tip and the weldment respectively. The welding wire contacts the weldment through the contact tip, sprinkles flux around the welding wire, and then starts the power supply. At this time, the current passes through. The contact tip, welding wire and weldment form a circuit. When the arc is ignited between the welding wire and the weldment, the heat of the arc will melt the surrounding flux to form slag. Part of the flux will decompose and evaporate into gas. And the gas will discharge the slag to form a bubble, and the arc will burn in this bubble. The continuously fed wire melts under the high temperature of the arc. Forming a metal pool together with the molten base metal. The slag formed by the molten flux coats the molten pool metal. Isolating it from the surrounding air and allowing the arc to burn under the flux layer. As the arc moves forward, the molten metal pool cools and solidifies to form the weld. The molten slag forms a slag crust that protects the hot metal from air as it cools. In this way, submerged arc welding is completed. Now let's learn more about the equipment and connections of submerged arc welding through a set of animations. Submerged arc welding equipment consists of welding power source, distribution box, welding trolley, control box, etc. The welding trolley is also composed of a machine head, a wire reel, a flux funnel, and a row car. The connection between the welding power source and the distribution box. Connect one end of the input cable to the switch of the power distribution box. Remove the input terminal cover on the back cover of the welding power source, and connect the other end of the input cable to the input terminal of the welding power source. Reinstall the input terminal cover on the welding power source. Ground the welding power cable. Connect the base metal cable to the negative output end of the welding power source with the accessory bolt, and connect the other end to the wood, and the connection should be tightened. Connect the welding cable to the positive output terminal of the welding power source with the accessory bolt. The other end is connected to the conductor of the trolley welding torch, and the connection should be tightened. Connect both ends of the control cable to the sockets of the welding power source and the control box of the welding trolley respectively. Install the welding wire. The welding wire comes out of the wire reel, passes through the wire feed roller and the straightening roller to the contact tip. The characteristics of submerged arc welding are described below. Advantages of submerged arc welding. 1. High productivity. Since the welding current allowed by the submerged arc is large, and the arc burns under the flux layer during the welding process, the metal spatter is small and the loss is small, so the welding speed is greatly improved. Second, the weld quality is good. Because the arc and the molten pool are always under the protection of the flux during submerged arc welding, the nitrogen content in the molten metal pool is reduced. And the cooling and crystallization of the molten pool is slow and the metallurgical reaction is sufficient. The tendency for welding defects is small and the weld quality is good. Third, the welding cost is low. Due to the large welding current and high heat utilization rate used in submerged arc welding, the weldment can obtain a large penetration depth. Therefore, when submerged arc welding is used, the weldment may not have a groove or a small groove, which reduces the cost. Good working conditions. 
Because the submerged arc welding realizes the automation of the welding process, the operation is relatively simple, and the labor intensity of the workers is greatly reduced. The advantages of submerged arc welding just mentioned, it also has disadvantages. First of all, since submerged arc welding relies on the accumulation of flux and the slag formed after melting to play a protective role, it is mainly suitable for welding of horizontal welds. Since the main components of the flux used in submerged arc welding are silicon oxide, MNO, etc., it cannot be used for welding easily oxidized metal materials. When welding with a smaller welding current, the stability of the arc will decrease, so it is only suitable for the welding of medium and thick plates. Due to the limitation of submerged arc welding equipment, submerged arc welding is only suitable for the welding of long straight welds. Now we will introduce to you how submerged arc welding works through a set of animations. Lay the track so that the track is parallel to the seam. Clean the surface of the workpiece and pour the dried flux into the flux funnel. Connect the switch of the distribution box. Turn on the power switch of the welding power source, and set the welding operation selection switch to the start position. Turn on the power switch of the trolley control box and set the welding parameters. Engage the manual clutch. Adjust the machine head, align the welding wire with the arc starting position. And adjust the extension length of the welding wire. Generally, it should be 6 to 10 times the diameter of the wire. The welding wire is fed down and comes into contact with the workpiece. Spread the flux. Pilot arc welding. Under the action of the arc heat, the base metal melts to form a molten pool, and the flux melts to form a slag. Stop welding. Recycle flux. Knock off the slag to expose the weld metal. After welding, turn off the welding power switch and cut off the switch of the distribution box. In this class, we explained the principle, equipment connection, characteristics and welding operation of submerged arc welding. Thanks for watching. Bye.